In our previous class, we had seen how to create the query parameters that is we had created ID and name as query parameter which we had passed in the URL in the request and also we had binded it to those names that is ID and name in this case I had considered same names for query parameter as well as the bind. So whatever we define for bind I am using over here in the where clause in order to write the source for our template handler. In this class, we will see how to pass the out header parameters from this ORDS REST API. In our earlier class, we had told that in order to pass the out header parameter or to define out header parameters or to assign, we have to create a PLSQL block. Also, we will see one more type of output response, how we can send the data back to the API consumers, that is ORDS API consumers as a result set from our SQL query. Now, in order to demonstrate this use case, I have created a ORDS template over here with the URI pattern v6 and if you look at the handler I have created that is a get let me just click on edit here in the parameters I have created couple of in parameters that is I will send the limit and offset that is with the help of custom names I had already told you at the beginning of this section in this course that limit and offset are reserved keywords suppose if you want to make use of limit and offset you can just prefix it with i underscore or something like that so that you can make use of limit and offset names by default that limit and offset you cannot use those are reserved keywords and your api will fail here if you see i am having an items parameter created and the access method is out over here and the response source type is response and the data type is result set so whatever query output we will get we will pass or assign to this item and send the response back to the api consumer Similar like this, we have created two output parameters that is HTTP header parameter. If you see the access method is out and the names we have provided is O limit and O offset. For bind also I have provided the same. In your case, if you want to have a different bind parameter name and the header parameter name for the REST API, you can have it over here. Now coming to the PLSQL block. So we are using this declare begin and end. If you have created any parameter like the header parameter or if you have created some output parameter to assign the response from the SQL query, then you have to define something like this. In the variable assignment, you can create the variables which will hold the response like the sysref cursor. So the sysref cursor data we can assign to this data type result set in the parameter. So if you have created any parameters like here in this case item and the data type is result set. So we can assign sysref cursor type of data or the variable data to that particular bind parameter. So here if you see I am assigning items to lcur. So from where we are getting lcursor is I am creating a cursor so which will hold the response from this query that is select id name email id from my table that is employee table. I hope you already know PLSQL thing so this is a very simple PLSQL block I have written just we are having a select query from a table and we are having few assignments over here or the declarations for a local variable then I am assigning the output over here. O limit and the O offset are the header parameters which I have created over here for my ORDS API and I am assigning like this. So whatever in the request I am getting, I am assigning something like this. Suppose if you want to assign any custom data, then you can have a query for that and you can assign the output of that limit and offset over here. So this is how the assignments are done. In case of any exception, you can return the exception something like this. I don't have any I output defined over here in the parameter. So I can replace this with the offset only suppose if I want to show or else if you want to show any errors or status something like this you can just define the output over here it will map at the runtime. So in my case I didn't define this I output but this is for a demonstration purpose I have written under the exception like in case of error we can send the output back. So this is a very simple PLSQL block now let's test this with the postman. So URI pattern for this is v6 let me just remove my previous tested data from here and put the v6. Click on send. Here if you see we are getting the response. We will be getting the data of all the employee records available in our database. Currently at the time of recording this class I am having the total count of 20 records in my table that is in the employee table. So like this we can create a parameter that is items access method is out response type is source and the data type is result set. So as soon as you create a result set you will be able to assign the variables of type sysref cursor. So whatever query it is returning you can assign this sysref cursor to the result set parameter you have created and output like status you can pass either success or error in case of exception you can error and if you want to provide the description you can pass the description in detail. 
So this is one more method how we can write a SQL query with the help of PLSQL. So PLSQL comes with lot of flexibility like if you want to have a call to multiple SQL queries, if you want to have the data from subquery or if you want to have individual multiple queries or if you want to insert update the record based on some condition all those things you can write with the help of PLSQL. So in this class we had seen how to create a parameter with the response type as result set in the out. Also we have seen how to create the header parameter that is for out and how we can assign the value for them like this by using the bind parameters.